text paper is my paper. Uh, let me just uh, hope that uh, you can see the, the presentation. Uh, the, 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 the paper is entitled uh, White Area Controllers uh, for Excitation Boosters for, for Transient st Stability Improvement. This paper is very close to, to the, the first paper of, of, the, of the session. Well, in, in this paper, uh, we report uh, uh, an investigation that uh, was supported by, by GE, formerly Aston, Alston Power. Okay, let, let me just to provide the, the outline of my presentation. First, uh, we will introduce the, the concept of excitation boosters. And then we will move to, to present uh, the weight area control system of, of the excitation boosters. We will be proposing different control schemes for, for, for the excitation booster and, and we will compare uh, the, the performance, the, the contribution for, for the transient stability of the system of these schemes. And then Yes, we will uh, summarize the, 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 the main conclusions of, uh, of the work. Okay, uh, what, what's an excitation booster? Uh, an excitation booster is a device that uh, adds uh, an external, a supplementary voltage to uh, to the to the field winding of uh, of a synchronous generator, we assume here that the synchronous generator is equipped with a bus fed excitation system. The, the stability of a synchronous generator uh, equipped with a bus fed excitation system is very much affected when uh, uh, a, a, a fault, a nearby fault uh, occurs. When, the, when there is no fault, the supplementary voltage, which in fact is provided by uh, an ultra capacitor, uh, is not applied to the excitation, to the excitation, uh, to the field winding. However, if there is a fault, then the, uh, the switches, the status of the switches S1 and S2 changes, and we apply that uh, external voltage to the to the field winding. Why? Just to increase uh, the electromagnetic torque and uh, to try to help to maintain the transient stability of, of the system. Okay, we have here uh, an application of the excitation booster. Uh, in the case of a single machine infinite uh, bus system. And here we are trying to address uh, the most demanding requirement of the ENSOE uh, grid code. So the most demanding requirement of the ENSOE code imposes that the machine must be stable in case of a 250 milliseconds uh, fault. Uh, in blue, you have the, the response of the system, voltage, uh, low voltage and high voltage of the synchronous machine in case of a 250 milliseconds fault. Uh, as you can see, the, the machine is unstable. However, if the machine is equipped with, uh, with an excitation booster, controlled by the voltage, the terminal voltage, uh, the machine is able to withstand uh, a very demanding, uh, a very demanding requirement, 250 milliseconds volt. But what happens when we 
uh, try to implement this excitation booster in all the machines in a, in a multi-machine system. The main uh, conclusion is uh, that the performance of the contribution of the excitation boosters equipped with a, a, a control, a, a lock and control system based on the, on the voltage depends on the location of the fault. For certain faults, typically faults near to the generator, the contribution of the excitation system is, is favorable. However, if we have a remote fault, in this case, in the midpoint of this uh, test system, these two area test system developed by Prava Kundur, uh, as you can see, adding excitation boost, uh, uh, an excitation booster to all of generator results in worse performance in lower critical clearing angle than without the excitation booster. So having learned of this, uh, of this phenomena, we have proposed uh, to control two weight area control system based on either uh, a speed or a acceleration. But the main point is that the input signal uh, to the controllers, to both controllers, is the speed deviation of the generator with respect to the center of inertia. So in this respect, this paper shares uh, some signals, uh, uh, some input signals with, uh, with the paper, with the first paper of the session. We have two options, just to modulate this external voltage that we are adding up uh, to the field winding. It is done just uh, with uh, the, the, using an IGBT with a certain duty cycle. So uh, we have two options to use the speed deviation, as you see here, or to use the acceleration. So we have here a, a derivative. So what is the impact? Well, well in, the, in the paper, uh, you have a, a, a formal proof of these uh, schemes based on uh, the Lyapunov uh, energy function. Okay, so what, what is the result that we, we have? Well, uh, as you can see, Comparing to the local on-off control, we, with the weight area control system, we are able to improve significantly the critical clearing time of a fault that occurs at the midpoint bus of the, of the system. Well, uh, we have assumed a certain latency 100 uh, milliseconds, which uh, we believe that it's quite uh, significant. And despite the latency of the communications to obtain the uh, speed of the center of inertia, we achieve a significant improvement of the, uh, of the critical clearing time. It seems that using the acceleration the improvement is slightly lower than using the uh, speed deviation. Well, here in the phase domain, if we represent the angle and the speed of generator one with respect to the angle and the speed of the center of inertia, what we see is in the yellow curve is that you know, the excursions, the angle and speed excursion are much, are even higher than with no excitation booster. In contrast, if we use the weight area control system of the excitation booster, we 
are able to reduce very much the excursions of angle and speed with respect to the center of inertia, showing a higher security margins. It is very interesting to note which is the variation of the supplementary voltage added to the uh, field uh, to the field winding. And uh, in the in the top figure, you have the supplementary voltage supply, but when the weight area control system uses the speed. And in the bottom uh, figure, you have the supplementary voltage when we have as, a, as input as the acceleration. Uh, as we can see is that the control action using, sorry, the control action using the acceleration is lower than you, when you use the, the, the speed. So it seems that the acceleration is more efficient than the speed. Well, uh, we have investigated on the design of the games um, from a very, uh, ex in a very experimental uh, uh, approach, we compare uh, the, the, the game uh, with the, uh, the, the critical clearing time. As you can see, well, uh, when the gain uh, at the very beginning, the gain increases uh, and the critical clearing time increases as well. But at, at a certain point, the effect of increasing the gain saturates. And just to conclude, uh, we have investigated the impact of the communication latency, the impact of the latency on the critical clearing time. Uh, of course, latency has an impact, but as long as the, uh, as the latency is below 100, 150 milliseconds, the, the improvement of the critical clearing time is, is significant. Of course, if the latency moves to 300 uh, milliseconds, then the, the, there is a reduction, a significant reduction in the critical clearing time. So just uh, to conclude, so our message, and, and in this respect, we share uh, the conclusions of the first paper of, uh, of, 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 the, of this session is that uh, when we incorporate weight area control system to the excitation boosters, we achieve a much better performance than when the excitation boosters are controlled by local measurements. The, the improvement achieved with uh, the weight area control systems based either on speed or in acceleration are very similar. Of course, the advantage of using the speed is that the speed measurement as le are less noisy than the acceleration measurements. And in contrast, uh, when we use acceleration, uh, the, the, the use of the excitation, uh, uh, the excitation booster is, is, is smaller. And just to, to finalize, uh, these weight area control systems for excitation boosters are robust against a, a communication latency. Okay, and this concludes uh, my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Let me just to go, uh, uh, let me just to go to the, Let me just to go to the questions. Oh, I'm afraid I don't have any question. Is there any question? I don't see any. 
Okay, well, I can have one for, for myself, <laughs> just to add something. Uh, uh, these are, uh, these results have been achieved uh, using by simulation. Uh, just to share with you is that we have also tested this uh, approach in, in, a, in a hardware in the loop uh, simulation model. So we had a real time simulator uh, connected uh, with, uh, connected through uh, WAMs uh, that uh, belong to, to uh, 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 commercial protections. And we tested this and, uh, and, and we proved the feasibility in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a more realistic environment. Okay, well, there is, uh, I think that there is no more questions than my, mine.